jewelry arriving literally like an hour ago. So I was setting some of that up for us. I'm actually even wearing some of it. Hey, Kim. Kim, things for you are here. Um, I'm so excited that I got a last minute delivery, which allows me to show you um, a couple of extra things. So yay. All right. As you're jumping on, say hi. Let me know you're here. Um, I like to also do that as an experiment so that I know, is this one of the lives that's going to show me the comments or is it not? So I am just still grabbing some jewelry here because this is the beginning of a new season. The beginning of a new season lets me um, show, you know, is where I'm still showing, you know, deciding really what to show. And uh, that uh, makes some of the shows a little interesting because I am still like making decisions and whatnot. And it looks like it didn't give me the opportunity to like tag people. So <laughs> that's annoying. Um, Donna, as you jump on, um, feel free to tag people so that they can more easily find the live. Oh, I'm so bummed it's not letting me tag people. Okay. Well, um, let's see. I just want to make sure that. This is working okay. Kim, tell me if you have any special requests, let me know because I have so much jewelry around me that um, some is going to make the cut in the end <laughs> and some is not. So if you have a special request, I promise that I will do my best to accommodate it. Oh, see, there are a bunch. You can't tag either. All right. Well, and the comments are also not coming through, so I'll just prop up the phone and um, I'll check for comments that way. Always something fun and exciting to be had in our park lane shows these days. Okay, so girls, I'm super excited for this party. Donna Jane booked one of the first private parties that is showing the jewelry. So um, I think some of you may have attended, I know some of you attended the big launch party that we had. I have new things even since then. There are things I didn't even show on that party that I'll show tonight. And I know that some of you are brand new to Park Lane. So let's start out by hitting the like at the hearts button for Donna Jean for getting us all together today. And it's so funny. I feel like you know, so many people call Donna Jean, Donna Jean. So many call her DJ. Um, it's funny because I don't know, Donna, why I feel like I call you Donna. Um, but maybe it all depends on what point of life you met Donna Jean. I met her in college, even though we lived like five minutes away from each other at home. Um, we were not in the same school district. So, so funny that I went all the way to Geneseo, New York to meet a girl that lived uh, five minutes up Wantua Avenue. <laughs> we lived up the block from each other pretty much. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks for joining. Um, okay, Kim, when you say dragonfly bracelet, do you mean the fancy? Because I don't know that, I'm not, if you know the name, but if you mean the fancy, I will put that in for sure. I'll put it right here in front of me. But if you mean a different one, let me know because I'm not 100% sure which one you mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was in the car during your fastest ride home. That is very true. Oh, okay. So I will put that in the show. No problem, Kim. All right, girls. So here's the thing. I know we have some super experienced shoppers and we have some brand new to Park Lane shoppers. Everybody, no matter what, you need a piece of paper and a pen. Donna scored you double bonus item sale. Not just, not for herself as the hostess, though she is getting some double bonus items, but you are as the shoppers. So I absolutely love our sale, even normally, because when a friend can score her friends the best sale ever, um, of course that's amazing, but when she gets you like the extra double bonus one, even better. So the reason you wanna have a piece of paper and a pen handy is that um, because the sale has so many facets to it, 
it's so much easier for you as the shopper to simply um, send me the list of the pieces that you like the best. We just call that the wish list. So you're going to send me like a photo of your wish list at the end of the live or whenever you're watching it, if you're watching a replay. Um, and then I work out the sale for you so that you don't have to be like struggling on the website trying to figure out the deals. Okay, so just jot a name down of a piece that you like as you see and then I will be your personal stylist and getting you all the sales at the end when we're ready to do your order. <laughs> oh, Lake Placid, Lindsay, I went up to Lake Placid. Um, my son played in a lacrosse tournament there a few years ago and I was so nostalgic for the all the Olympic stuff they have there and that was a beautiful place. I hope you're having a great trip. So, okay, so let's get to it. Um, so the sale tonight, I am going to just, let me just put the sale out on the table so that once I explain it, you don't have to think about it again. You'll just make a wish list and I'll think about it again when I work out your order. So the sale is, the first part will sound familiar, buy two pieces at regular price. Those two are going to be your lowest two pieces. Then you get as many as four more pieces at half price and those can be any price at all. So we're going to find you things that are 20 or 30 ish dollars. That's going to be your two low pieces so that the next one, two, three or four additional pieces that you might want can all be half price. Now the double bonus item part that Donna Jean scored for you is that when your order total is 90 or more, meaning if you're buying just one $90 or more piece, or if we're doing the two low added to however many half price pieces, when your order total is $90 or more, you then get to put two bonus items onto your order. And the bonus items are whatever two pieces you love as high as $200 we get to put them on your order for $30 each. When I start showing you what some of these higher end pieces are, you're going to be very excited that you get two of them. <laughs> so let's take a look. Now, very often when we are shopping, the two lowest price pieces tend to be things that are, uh, tend to be earrings. So for those that are our newbie shoppers, you are probably still needing a pair of earrings like Moana. So the Moana earrings are probably our most popular, at least for, for me, they are. So these are, um, they come in gold, they come in silver, they come in rose gold. Once you have them in one color, you'll wish you bought another and they are only in the twenties. So these are the Moana earrings. Great option. These are going to be your just grab and go earrings. You will wear them all the time. Um, another fantastic, most popular choice are the whisper earrings. And where are they? Here they are. The whisper earrings. The whispers also come in gold or silver. They are absolutely the lightest, most fabulous earrings you will ever wear. As you can see, everything I'm putting on, both of these go with the necklace I already have on. These are also in the twenties. You will be thrilled with these. So many people start out with just those two. Now, I um, went with a turquoise motif for starting us off. If you need just a cute little turquoise stud, you could go with something like Hula. I love how these have the little um, crystals as well. These will look, give you the look of that crawler. Some people put these in their second hole. So these are great to have if you're not into the big dangly earrings. And, um, they make a great lower price piece as well. Michelle, so glad you made it. And Lindsay, I saw that you mentioned the Logan necklace. I absolutely have that in the show today. Um, so no problem at all. Okay, so now um, another... So when it comes to the low price pieces, we're going to find you whatever it is that is going to be what you want for yourself or for gifts. So a lot of people have been doing, because a lot of times people like something very dainty or they want something for like their daughter or something or someone like that, a niece. So check out the truth earrings. How adorable are these? Just teeny tiny crystal crosses. Great for a second hole or if you need a gift for a child or if you just love the small um, items. These are, I want to say 30 and then how cute is the little bracelet called Kiwi? This is 
Kiwi comes in three different charms and um, colors, but look at the lavender and the little cross. I can't tell you how many people are buying this little set as their two low price pieces for their daughter or their niece and then, or themselves, and then they get going on some awesome half price items. So let's put together some looks, girls, because I have a stat that you um, might find unbelievable. So did you know that women waste five years of their life standing in front of their closet trying to decide what to wear? Girls, we do not have that kind of time. We can't be wasting that kind of time. And you know why? Because we do not wear 78% of the clothing in our closet. 78%. Tell me, um, do you feel like that's accurate? Like, do you feel like that that's true for you? Um, do you feel like it's more? Do you feel like it's less? I feel like it's probably kind of accurate, especially in light of all the online shopping for clothing that we've done over these last, um, you know, 18, 16, whatever it is, months. When you get something and you don't really love it, but you're like, eh, I don't want to return it. Maybe I'll just wear it on a Zoom. Nobody sees the bottom. So, John, you're saying more. I, I mean, maybe it is. And the reason for this, and I think you'll agree with me here, is that we try to buy things that are trendy, right? So then you buy it, and then you're not really sure when to wear it. So you waste a lot of time standing there saying, are we still doing, oh, you know, cold shoulder blouses? Um, are we still you know, wearing fringe on the clothes, but you're not sure, should I throw it out? Should I wear it? And then you end up defaulting to something you wear all the time. That's where the 78% not getting worn comes in. So I really want to help you today with three-step dressing. Okay. The three steps are one is do a base layer. So what I have done here is that basic tank. It can be whatever the base layer is going to be, a blouse, a tank, a t-shirt. And then layer two is your fashion layer. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to show two different ones today. We're starting with a print. So because it's summer, but you know, will be fall in a couple of months. I went with a kimono that does transition well onto the form onto those like warmer fall days, which is doing an animal print one. Usually when we think of kimonos, we think of like the floral ones, which are amazing. I have a million of them. Yes, a turquoise necklace would go amazing. But I really wanted to show you that even when fall comes, you can be wearing and should be wearing your bright turquoise and green type colors. So that's why we're starting here with this as layer two. So your, your base layer, some sort of tank, shell, blouse, something basic. Layer two is going to be your fashion layer. In this case, it's the kimono. Layer three is your accessories. Your accessories is jewelry. Your accessories is what bag you choose, what shoes, etc. But of course, I'm going to help you with the jewelry. So now we want to start layering in. What do we want to wear as layer two? You know, what is our layer three? So if you do want to do some pops of color, which I highly recommend, you could, if you, you could do a statement necklace like I have here, you could start with the Soleil necklace if you just wanted to do a pendant, or you could layer this right in under the charm necklace that I have on right now. So this turquoise, I want you to remember, turquoise is not just for summer. You can wear this with olive green all year round. You can wear it with your animal print. It will look amazing in black. So this is the Soleil. What I have on, this is a great, great half price piece. Just like if you wanted to do a little pop of color in your bracelets, you can do it that way. Um, and you can do even like a spearmint ring. How fun is the spearmint ring? You have the minty green with the crystals around, and these are just fun rings to get for like your middle finger, your pointer. Um, the, the designer version of this ring is an insanely high price. This is $38, so it can be a low, it can be a half, but super fun to have. Now, the, charmed neck, the charm, charm necklace that I have on now, this is such a versatile piece. I want you to see that this is three layers. This is one of the ones that came today that I was so glad. 
So you have your two layers of the turquoise beading and then you have the gold um, matte finish strand. Now I want you to know that you could wear this as a long necklace too. So you could do it where this, you're having the um, blue up and one blue down and then the chunky. You could do where you're doing all of the gold in the back and then have all of the blue hanging in the front. There's so much fun with this, right? So this is a really nice versatile piece. So I'm gonna put it back on the way it was so that you can see how you can even do more layering even with a necklace that's already layered. So here's our charm. And if you wanna add a little bit of a softer, even more soft element to this, we can add a, a border of pearls. So pearl, you can never go wrong with this. And now I know we have a good amount of 90s girls here. Now, some of you may have a necklace just like this already. You got it for your college graduation, you wore it at your wedding, and you're like, oh, when am I, I didn't realize I could still be wearing that. Of course you can. If your family missed the memo on that all girls should own a nice plain strand of pearls, then 30 bucks, you're gonna get a Park Lane one. But how fun of an element is it to just frame that with a little bit of pearl. Pearls are never out of style. And this gives us almost like a street sweet look because you can take, consider the um, animal print as a little edgy, but then the, and as well as the chunky chain, but then we're doing a little bit of pearl, which softens it up. Now let's take a look at how we could do the earrings. These earrings are one of our most popular new pairs called Napa. So the Napa earrings, as you can see, they're gold. They have the, the shiny, you know, hanging pieces, just absolutely gorgeous. You can get these in silver if you prefer. Loving these, they are super light. But if we wanted to, we could instead um, do a bit of a pearl element in the earring to kind of bring that together and do the freshwater earrings, which would then bring a little more pearl yeah, the Napas are amazing, right, Donna? So that's a fun, you know what, by the way, I left a little too much space, like make this be a little shorter. But in any event, how fun is it to have just the one genuine freshwater pearl hanging, and then you can even include other little pearl elements. So you could choose to do some pearls with a set of Marina bracelets. The Marina bracelets, such a fantastic set. You get nine bracelets with the Marina bracelets, nine of these. I have one of them on mixed in with these bracelets. And then you have one to put next to your watch. You have them just to do a million things with. So these make a great bonus item. Um, that's what makes pearls really, the only way that pearls look frumpy <laughs> is if you do that matchy match pearl look where you're doing like the matching necklace ring, blah, blah, blah. When you mix it in with other things, so like mixing it in, if you're a turquoise fan with the Kai bracelet, these are those bracelets that have the pull tab. So do any of you have the issue where the bracelet is too big, the bracelet is too small? All of that is a big pain in the neck when it comes to fitting on earrings, um, fitting on bracelets. But when you get a sorbet or an Austin or a Kai bracelet, these are the ones that you can make as big as you need and you can make as small as you need. The um, Kai bracelet, K-A-I, when you take this as a half price piece, it's only 20 bucks. So that's a super uh, one to kind of put along with your others as well. If you do want a nice little touch, and I'm showing this too, because some of you already have some of these pieces, so I want you to see how you could be incorporating them into some fun, chunky new looks. But this is that Brindley necklace. This has been one of our top sellers for a couple of seasons now. That is five freshwater pearls on a gold tone chain. You could even have put that in here with these. You could wear the necklace longer and then incorporate the pearl, but this is a great a low price piece because it's only $30. Now with or without the pearls, we can even add a little bit of an edgier element to this by just adding 
our brand new blessed pendant. This is so cool because yes, you have the hammered um, element, you have the, you know, the religious element in that it's a cross, but this is just a pendant that like pushes in. So you can attach this to anything you want. So if you have the Carrington necklace from a previous season, you can hang that on here and you would have this type of look. Um, I'll show it a couple of other times, but look how great this is when you just stick it onto, this is actually hard to do without looking in a mirror. There we go. And now you have a little bit of an edgier look even to this. This is only $34 and you'll have, it's so amazing right now, how many decades are like back. I feel like this is almost like a, like a pop it on preach type of uh, Madonna type look, but very fun to have these little elements that you can stick onto pieces. So um, that is just a couple of ways that you can do color with animal prints and still, you know, these are the Baja bracelets. You can, these are a set of three. You can pop these in among your gold, lots of options. Okay. So as we're doing all this, let me know things you like, things you don't, so that I know if I'm on the right track with things you like. Let's move on to some rose gold. <laughs> so I thought you'd like that reference. Um, so some rose gold. Now, first of all, this right here reminds us of the power of jewelry, right? This is suddenly way less exciting, not generating any kind of compliment, not generating any kind of um, opener discussion. Did you know that at a networking event or anything like that, um, a party, anything like that, the number one conversation starter is jewelry, but most specifically a necklace? Who's talking to me? All right, so let's talk about rose gold because we have some really nice new rose gold. And it's funny because some people feel that they don't know if they should wear rose gold because they're not sure if the color is right for them. Now, what you should know is that rose gold is a blend of gold, silver, and copper. So if you would have liked gold because you like the warmer tones or whether you like silver because of the cooler tones of your skin, it picks up either one. So for just a starter rose gold piece, you can do something like the Rue necklace. The Rue is only $34, has that designer look to it, and um, you can wear that by itself or with others. Now we know that um, Kim was looking for a dragonfly bracelet before, just before we even get to that. How about the adorable Illuminate necklace? This is a nice soft rose gold as well, and the um, cute little dragonfly with the crystals. Both of these are only $34 each. But what I really want to show you that, of course, you could layer in either or both of these with is our brand new Ambrosia necklace. This is possibly one of my all-time favorite pieces, that, especially of the new collection for sure. But how beautiful is the shine on this piece? Absolutely beautiful, and it's a soft rose gold. When the rose gold is a softer tone, meaning it's not super orange, um, that allows you to really blend it with other metals more easily. Sometimes you can even wear gold with it and people don't realize it's not the same. So rose gold also looks great with animal print. And in one step, you are doing that fully layered look. Now I do want to give you a tip. So sometimes people say, oh, it always drives me crazy how they, you know, get messed up. When you're putting on a multi-layer necklace like this, stand up and just lean over. I don't mean to like flash you, but stand up and lean over and let all the pieces fall forward and then just stand back up and it will be perfect. So the Ambrosia, Everybody who puts this on feels like sexy and amazing. You will love this piece. Now, of course, we could take the Illuminate and add that right here, because I feel like there's a more space in between these two than any other layer. So this is a fun one to put in that spot. Now, when it comes to your earrings with rose gold, um, 
even though I really do encourage you to mix your metals, but sometimes people feel weird about mixing rose gold, you know, as their mix piece. So if you do want to do um, a, you know, if you are getting a rose gold necklace, I highly recommend some rose gold earrings and these are the perfect ones. So these are the bell earrings. They only come in rose gold and they are perfect because they have that teardrop shape that makes your face look thin. They have the crystals. Crystals next to your face make you look well rested and you are just ready to rock and roll with a look like this. So the bell earrings are only 34 maybe. So is the Illuminate. Here's your two low pieces. Take your Ambrosia for half price and now you're ready to take your Charmed or anything else I showed already that you like as your $30 bonus items. Um, if you are building a rose gold collection, then I would recommend some of the following bracelets. These, this one is lovey. Now what's so great about getting yourself a lovey bracelet, besides the fact that it's only $34, see how it's actually mixed metal? You have rose gold, gold, and silver all the way around. That means that when you pop this bracelet on, it automatically mixes all the other jewelry you're wearing. I could keep my existing all gold arm party here. And because I have the rose gold incorporated here, we are ready to go. If you do want some solid um, rose gold, you can do a tawny bracelet. And for those that struggle with bangles, we don't make you struggle. See how this looks like a bangle? See how this looks like Chanel quilted? like Kira Knightley wears with $50,000 worth of bracelets in a Chanel ad. The Park Lane one is stretchy. If you take this as a half price piece, you're paying in the 20s for it and you are set with an amazing rose gold bracelet. Um, the Jewel bracelet, another one of our most popular bracelets. It looks like the Cartier bracelet without the Cartier price tag. It is oval, like your wrist, instead of a big round bracelet that's banging all the time. And because it opens on a hinge, it always fits. Because we're opening, we're closing, we're clipping it shut. When you have these smaller bracelets that clip because you don't have to get it over your hands, the fit is so much better. So this bracelet comes in the rose gold, it comes in silver gold, and it now even comes in hematite. So you will love having um, jewel bracelets as well. Now, Let's switch up the second layer. So if I want to do instead of an animal print or I need something heavier, because listen, it gets chilly at these nighttime summer parties, right? I know a lot of you live up in Western New York and um, I remember even in the summer, it gets chilly at night. So you need that denim jacket, especially in the summer, definitely into the fall. We do them in the spring. like denim jacket is just a must. Now look how just as good the rose gold looks as we switch into the denim. I want you to not pigeonhole certain jewelry in with certain tops. So if you are like, oh, that's my yellow, you know, blouse I wear, my yellow necklace with that. No, mix it up. That's what makes you have so much fun with your accessories. That's what makes you able to do the basic three layer dressing because you can keep your clothing basic, mix up the accessories, and you always look amazing. So let's swing into some gold because I know that we have some gold fans. Now, one of the ones that was a special request from, I think, Carolyn was the Wildflower Necklace. So the Wildflower is just such a nice dainty little piece, another designer inspired one. Here we have the bee again with the flower and you can layer this with other pieces certainly. Um, you could wear it by itself, just a little touch. These earrings are only like 20 something dollars, the Chico, they come in all the metal colors. But the bees continue to be a tremendous trend and the Gucci bees cost thousands of dollars. The Park Lane Bees, you can get half price half the time for the 20s. You can get them as a bonus item. So that's the Wildflower. And this is where that bracelet that Kim, you requested, which is the Fancy. 
So the fancy bracelet, again, the designer version of this one is insane. So look at, you know, bees are good luck and health. Look at all the crystals in here. Now, if you're looking at this saying, how am I fitting my wrist in that teeny tiny spot? You don't have to. Parkland thinks of literally everything. How fun is this? What? So I can just pop this in right with the other bracelets and look designer fancy amazing. So that is the fancy bracelet, another great piece to take as a half pricer now, um, or a bonus item. Now, speaking of designer, speaking of gold and black, we have some stunning new gold and black girls. Check out, you've all heard of Louis Vuitton, right? The brand that it's like, come on with the prices. Look at this Beverly necklace. How gorgeous. This is amazing layering and it's not too short. Sometimes, um, People that have a little bit of a thicker neck, like myself, can be frustrated with a necklace because it's just too short to do it. Uh, it feels too short. And this one is a little bit longer. Yeah, I love golden. You know what? Golden black is just a constant. It's always in style. It always looks good. You will always see it on the runway. You just can't ever go wrong with golden black. So here is the Beverly and you just have the gorgeous designer look it lays so nicely it's got the thin paper clip chain look that is very trendy right now and you are ready to go we can pair these with the brand new ember earrings to stick with that golden black love to have a hoop that's a shape you know sometimes a regular hoop is like you know you can get that anywhere so this gives you the sparkle with the black framed with the gold and bam we have our golden black earring now we have lots of golden black earring choices so if you would prefer like a forward facing hoop you could go with a pair of earrings like the sunset earrings which as you can see you can get in silver and blue you can get them in gold with pink lots of options here with the sunsets if you like threader earrings, the kind where you just thread, you know, like they just go in and just keep threading on through, these are the Collins. So you have the black and the gold right along the front, the threader that continued on through your ear. And it's almost like a reverse hoop. So we could do that certainly with our gold and black look. And then we can go ahead and incorporate our bracelets. So if you love gold and black bracelets, you can put things like the Radley together with the uh, Medusa. This is a Fendi, a Fendi type bracelet. Um, the Tatums that you can just sprinkle among other bracelets. Like I could obviously put any of these gold and black bracelets in with any of these gold. So if I wanted to just do that touch of black in here, I could grab a Tatum or two. I could have grabbed the Radley, just any of them and just stick a couple in here and there we go. So I've had the same basic bracelets on this whole time. I had the blue ones, the blue Baja ones on in the beginning, added in the, the B with the fancy, added in the black with the Tatum, so many great um, things that you can do. So um, if I wanted to frame the Beverly a bit more, check out this stunner which is Genuine Onyx, the Dreamy Necklace. Do you believe how dainty and spectacular this is? So this is a piece that you will just grab time and time again and get a ton of use out of. So I love a good dainty layering piece. You could always double it up as well so that you just did the single, like you could have this twice around put the little one right here but again this is just a dainty gorgeous layered look so you can't go wrong with that now we do have a lot of fun going on in gold this season so take a look for example at the incredible and again remember I was saying all the decades are back so we were doing some 80s before who loves herringbone 
<laughs> Look at this drama necklace. This is a piece that you're gonna take out that sleek fall black turtleneck and put this over it and it's gonna look spectacular. You're gonna take out that black jumpsuit, um, that plungy for, for date night, and you're gonna put this on with that. These pieces come apart. You can wear all the bottom ones and not wear the top. You can wear one or two of the top ones without the bottom, but I do wanna show you one little extra pop and you'll use this other little necklace all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and add on the little solitaire halo. So this is only like a 30-ish dollar piece, girls, and you can just stick this on with anything, any layers, but how extra sexy does that make this whole look? So drama makes a great bonus item, halo makes a great low price piece, and you have drama all day long. Now, speaking of drama, what we are definitely continuing to do is fun, big earrings. So let's switch out from the ember, let's switch out from the golden black, and let's take a look at one of Donna's special, re um, no, I think it was Lindsay's special request, the Logan as well. So the reason that the big earrings and the fun earrings continue to be so popular is that we're still doing a lot of Zoom, we're still doing a lot of FaceTime, Facebook Live, all of that, and it keeps you right in the frame. So one really fun pair, and again, here we go with the 80s, how fun are these Dolce earrings? I really want you to enjoy having fun with earrings like this, like go to Wegmans in these earrings, okay girls, because you know when you run into your people you went to high school with or you know the, the mom that was annoying to you one time at school look good feel good you're getting eggs you're picking up your kid you look damn good in this so now when you wear earrings like this you don't want a competing necklace that's actually literally touching or just distracting in any way that's where that Logan is such a great piece so the Logan has the same type of stones. See how we have the disco ball and the, tra <laughs> and the trapeze, which is of course the um, toggle. But this is going to bring in the same type of sparkle, but keep it further down than the earrings. So all we have to do now is put the toggle through the hole and now we are fully appropriate with the right amount of sparkles spread out in the right distance and big fun sparkly earrings, denim jacket, white tank top. What is easier than this? You're going to go to full bonfires in this. You're going to go to, this is going to be your nighttime summer party look. All of it together, so much fun. Now, if you feel like up here is just, you need a little something, <laughs> then you could go with the Wanderlust necklace. It is nice sometimes to just have like a little fun piece like this. So this is all baguettes and you could put that right here and it definitely wouldn't take away from the earrings. Or you could wear this with something completely different if you wanted to. So that's the Wanderlust and you could layer that in really with any other gold necklaces that you would like to do layering with. If you are that big fun Earring girl, you would probably also really enjoy the Monroe earrings. These are hot as well. They give you that like 70s liquid gold type vibe. And these are also very fun and spectacular. Now when you're doing that gold and black or you're doing your basics, before I showed you doing the animal print as clothing, um, I always recommend if you're doing it as clothing, something like that, like one additional piece, whether it's just your jacket, just your shoes, um, a scarf. But remember, you could bring in animal print with an outfit like this and do it with the jewelry. So these bracelets are called Safari, and these are hand painted to be like a cheetah print. You have the um, sparkle here, you have the gold. And then again, we could layer that in with any of these bracelets. We could do another cross element and do like the Jonah bracelet here and stick that in right in the center. 
We could be adding in um, elements from things like the cream bracelets, where we would bring just a little more attention into the um, more neutral part. The cream bracelets are a set of five. Each one is different. How great is this arm party? And then you have a little touch of animal print with your black and white, with your denim, with whatever you like. So, um, finally, let's do some love for our silver lovers. So now with silver lovers, some of you may have from last season, or if not, might want to get a nice layered look in silver with a piece like the slate necklace. So here's that herringbone again, but in silver. And you have your three layers. You don't have to take it apart. You don't have to think about it. You put it on and these are the three layers, done. So this is a great everyday layering silver piece. Now it would look absolutely terrific blended together with the new Lottie necklace. Now a lot of times silver lovers get left out of the pearl party because pearls so often get put with gold. Look at this Lottie necklace. It's silver with pearls and definitely gives you that street sweet look. So you can wear it like this where you have half and half. You can wear it where you're gonna do the pearls in the back, which is great if your hair is up or short and let the chunky silver come in the front. Or of course you can wear it like this. Now how fun is it layered together with the slate? Oh, I'm glad Ashley loves her slate. That's awesome. So I do love this layered together. And then of course, um, what did I want to put with this? You could do, oh, you could do the pearl earrings I showed you earlier that were silver. Um, oh, and the, these came out at the end of last season as a special. So I think a lot of you did not grab these yet. The Ellis earrings. How fun, the chain is removable in case you ever just want the plain hoops. But think about in the fall when you take out your black suede or your black leather jacket or um, any, anything like that. But this with the black leather is such a great street sweet look. These are only $44 earrings. The slate is only $44. So these are great half price things that are once again going to qualify you to get something like the Logan for $30 or um, the Drama for $30. Now, of course, as you're picking out silver bracelets, you can do things like the ever popular Cherish bracelet that's only like $28 and looks like a Tiffany. You can do the Austin, you could do the Jewel. And we do have um, it new in silver as well is the plush bracelet. This one has this soft like woven feeling to the top and then it has the pull tab back. So see what I was saying about putting together the hematite with the silver? Putting hematite and silver together is a really great way to update your silver look and give it that little bit of an edgier type of look. Now, for the final silver, let's take a look at what has been the most popular silver piece in this new collection. And that is the Love Lock necklace. One more awesome 90s shout out, because this is what I mean about so many different decades um, being in one collection. Look at this. Look at how much sparkle with the crystals on that heart and that circle. So you get the double chain. I love this with a basic jacket like this. This would look great with a cardigan as well. Boom. You need nothing else in terms of a necklace because it's substantial and you are all set. The best earrings on earth to go with this are the Palm Beach because you have the same type of crystal, a fun shape, and you are ready to go. So this Love Lock, you're gonna do, if you want the Love Lock, we'll throw the earrings on half price. You'll get these for like 20 bucks. <laughs> Don, I'm so glad you love your human type. You do look really good in it too. Um, so we do our earrings. We'll layer in some bracelets. 
and you are all set to go in your sleek silver look. And that's why I want to, again, show you all the different things that you can do just with a different top layer. You're going to do different top layers in you, you'll have so much fun with your accessories if you kind of gather up a collection of layer one, different color tanks, t-shirts, blouses, layer two, different color, um, or even some prints um, of kimonos, jackets, um, cardigans, and then you have fun and draw the attention in with the accessories. So, um, you know, think about as you're deciding, okay, so, what am I going to do for my low price pieces? Do I want to grab a cute little pair of studs like these new Kira earrings and then um, do, you know, another, a pair of threaders like the Preach earrings and stay in with this fun cross theme? And then for my half price items, what should I take as a half price item? Do I want to grab the influencer necklace? Do I want it in gold or silver? Grab this for like 40 and then for my bonus item, do I want the Logan? Do I want the Marina bracelets? Or do I want to get one of the impression bracelets? So the impression bracelets are 40 carats of Swarovski crystals. And this is our newest color, the violet. How stunning is that next to the mint? Um, it's also fantastic with the Northern Lights. But all of these different bracelets, they're normally $182. You are going to get one for $30 as your bonus item. Now, if you're watching this and saying, oh my gosh, she named, she said I get two bonus items, but I have like four things. I have like six things on my list that I'm not going to be able to get all of these bonus items. Please let me do for you what I'm doing for Donna Jean tonight. A few girls on here have had shows with me. This is the world's easiest party to have, ladies. All it is, is I set up this Facebook group just like we see here. I set up all the posts, I do the live, I answer everyone's questions, I take everyone's orders. You just do the inviting, you enjoy the postings, you would check out the jewelry, you make a list, and you have fun shopping, just like your friends have fun shopping. And then you, all of my hostesses, and they will back me up on this, the ones on here, receive at least $400 in free and discounted shopping. Typically, it is way more. Way more. Good. Kim, I'm so glad. Thank you. Um, and then when you have like a million extra things like angel earrings on your list, we get that for you with your party. When you want to grab other things like, you know, olive earrings, all of these fun things, you are rewarded with a big fat giant shopping spree while your friends get to enjoy the sale. So, you know, the, when you want the gold and black and you wanted these little highlight huggies, these actually are a pretty high-end piece with all that crystal. We get that for you with your party. So, a couple of things. If you decide you are having a show um, from this one, a couple of great things happen. Number one is that you will get to shop with an extra $100. Everybody who books with a friend always gets an extra $100 in shopping at their party. So um, Donna Jean booked from a special event. She gets an extra $100 to shop with tonight. And all of you who decide you're having a show, you get an extra $100 to shop with at your party. So if you would have earned $400 in jewelry, you're getting 500. But the other thing that I always like to give you is one of your favorites from your list and we just take it off the list so you don't have to buy it tonight and I send it to you as a booking gift. So in the couple of parties that I've done since the new jewelry has come out, somebody said, so if I book my party, I can get my Beverly necklace as my booking gift. That's one, somebody took a love lock and quite a few people have taken impression bracelets. So that if you would rather I take off, you know, your black impression bracelet from your order, send it to you free as a gift, you're already at a $182 gift and we didn't even have the party yet. I love to spoil my hostesses and I would love to spoil you whether you've hosted before or whether it will be your first time hosting with me. And then not only will Donna Jean get her big shopping spree tonight, 
you know, when we close up the party, she gets an extra special at all of your parties as well. So of course she will come and be super excited to support your party as well because she gets yet another special. So, um, that's the scoop girls. I am here for the rest of the night, ready to help you with your orders. Here's the thing, just send me a picture of your wish list. That's all we need. Send me a picture of your wish list. I will work the magic. I put it in the cart and I send you an example. You're either gonna say, oh my gosh, that's actually less than I thought. Can you add on something else at half? Can I put this on at half? Of course you can. You might say, oh my gosh, that's amazing, but I can't spend that. Can we take this and that off? Of course we can. I work it until you're happy with it and then you securely check out right from that link. Okay, so, Thank you. Can everybody hit the like and the heart button for Donna Jean for getting us together tonight? Like I said, I'm here for the night and I'm here for the next couple of days to, of course, get all of your orders taken care of, get you the best deal. If you'd like to have a show, we'll pick that date. I'm going to send you a present of your choice. And I so appreciate each of you taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us tonight or to watch the replay which I know many of you will do as well. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Donna Jean, and I'm here to help. Have a great night, everybody.